my name is Jana Imis. Welcome to my channel dedicated to studies in Germany, universities in Germany. But this video will be for those who does not want to arrive in Germany to study while being homeless. Huh? Nobody wants to do that. The studies will be paying for you already. <laughs> I mean, the German universities. So spare yourself from the pain of searching for the apartments or flats or Vegetzima, which in German means room. You don't want that, so let me help you. On my channel, I talk about education in Germany and admission, but this is not the case right now because we're at the end of August. So it means the next two months, majority, the majority of you will be arriving in Germany to study and I'm quite sure the majority of you also doesn't have a place to stay. So to prevent that from happening, I decided to make a useful video first. So this is my first video, so don't be too brutal. <laughs> I'm a foreigner as well, so I have been through the hell that you will be going through. So trust me, I'm an engineer. No, I'm not, but still. I collected a bunch of useful links um, that you will find in the description of the video. Make sure to read my whole article because I really dedicated myself to helping you out. I know how horrible that is. Um, the full article is available on my website. <laughs> if you already found a place to stay, please make sure to comment below in the comment area your tips and advices so let's help each other out. Mention anything that could be useful for the future generation of international students. Sharing is caring. If you have comments, questions, concerns, feel free to contact me via the links or in the comment section here. I'll make sure to reply and make sure to subscribe in that button in here. Finding a flat in Germany is much more difficult than finding a job, believe it or not. If you're searching for a flat, start now. Um, if you're already in Germany, start now, definitely. Um, if you have time, start at least three months before arrival. It's really good time because you can apply for visa 90 days before the semester start. So that's exactly when you have to search for accommodation. Visa doesn't require you to have accommodation. So you can arrive in Germany homeless um, or live in a tent or in a van. Um, I mean, nobody wants that, but you can. So there's first thing you have to keep in mind, Germany is not your country. If you're an international student, things here work differently. In Russia, where I come from, we can be like, I like the flat, I want it, you got it. Then you move in and then you can be like, I don't like it, I'm out of here. So it's pretty easy. In Germany, it's super difficult to find a flat because it's super difficult to kick out a person. The thing is, in Germany, you do not choose the flat, the flat chooses you. The three most difficult uh, cities to find accommodation in, I'm so sorry if you're going there, uh, Hamburg, Frankfurt and Munich, but Berlin is getting there too, I heard. In the article over my website, you can see the rental average breakdown for the majority of big cities, so you know, according to the location where you're going, how much you're more or less expected to pay. What options you have on the market? Flats, rooms, dorms, um, short-term lets uh, and hostels with hotels. Flats come in two different options, furnished and unfurnished. So the majority will be unfurnished and it's different probably from your perception. Unfurnished means there's nothing. There's nothing, just the walls. There is no kitchen, there is nothing. Uh, so you can't really live there. So make sure um, to double check the description <laughs> of what stays and what doesn't, because otherwise you have to buy your own kitchen and carry it with you all the time. Actually, the research shows that uh, if you consider living and staying in Germany, it's beneficial for you to buy your own kitchen and carry it with you all the way. Um, so make sure to know <laughs> if you want to stay. Um, majority of the offers on the market are unfurnished. So if you're aiming long term, go for unfurnished. They are cheaper, easier to find, easier to negotiate. You can expect to pay from 500 to 1000 euro per month, if not more, uh, for one room apartment. So if you're on a budget, perhaps flat is not the best option, or at least not the best option from the start. The dorms, you can secure yourself a room, I understand dorm from 150 euro to 350 euro, but you have to be fully aware of the queues. Sometimes the waiting queues are up to half a year. Uh, if you are sure I want to go to Germany and you have plenty of time, apply right away after you have secured your um, admission in a German university. 
because you have to be matriculated at the German city accredited and approved schools. Not every single student can stay in a state dorm and you have to put yourself on the waiting list. This is the way it works. Um, there's also private dorms. Private dorms are available for everybody. In every big city, there's at least 10 to 15. Um, and the costs there are higher from 500 euro onwards per month, but it's like a studio. So you have your own area, everything is included in one space and you have common areas like rooftops um, and uh, the playground, the gym. So make sure to check the descriptions. Um, in the description of the video, you will have the links to the dorms, the state and as well the private. So you can make sure to find in your location a good area to search for a dorm form. If you're arriving in Germany and you have not secured yourself a place to stay, you have two options. Number one, to postpone your arrival until you find a place to stay um, because otherwise it's much more expensive in Germany to stay in a hotel rather than rebook your flight. Um, alternatively, book a short-term let, so like hostels where they're 25 euro per night or less, uh, hotels are around 90 euro per night on average, or you can go for Airbnb or you can go for youth hostels or uh, couch surfing, which actually can be also for free for you. There's a few sacrifices you have to do. First of all, you have to learn to compromise. There is no such thing as great location and the size and the price. So one of these things has to go down. Otherwise, it's most probably a fraud. If it looks too good in the post um, online, it's fraud. Don't go for it. There is no such thing. So you have to choose either a location or the size or the price. You have to compromise. Unless you're from a very rich family, then yeah, you can go for all three. Aim for long-term and unfurnished first, because these are the options where the landlords are eager to talk to you. If you're planning to stay long-term, they're all interested in long-term tenants. Second priority would be short-term lets and furnished flats. Um, but I recommend all international students, first semester, stay in the dorm because you don't know the city, you don't know the country, the bureaucracy, the infrastructure, the distances, you don't know the people. And you need at least six months to get used to all of that. Do you love it or do you hate it? And then to find out the area you want to live in or whom you want to live with. Perhaps, you know, you rent a room in, in a shared apartment and you hate your tenants. I mean, to avoid all that, get a dorm. Get a private dorm, stay there for a semester, and then you know what you want. <laughs> the majority of contracts for the dorms are six months, but for the flats, they are long term, normally without expiration date. So it means that you have to cancel them in advance. So keep that in mind. Consider the options farther away from your university. You don't have to necessarily walk. I mean, if you're coming from where I come from, one and a half hour commute is okay. In Germany, infrastructure is so great that you can literally walk everywhere, cycle everywhere, take the train, underground, tram, whatnot. So you can find your way around. Aim for affordable option, better, farther away from your place if you can. The farther it is from the city center, the cheaper, obviously. The next advice would be learn vocabulary because the advertisement in German um, forums or apartment lets um, have certain peculiarities where they put down how many rooms, if the heating costs are included or not. So there is like 15 words that you have to definitely know. Otherwise, suddenly your rental expense becomes higher and nobody wants that. So you can find those in my article. Make sure to check it on my website. Just be alert, be fast when replying to the ads, be fast calling, writing emails, but be considerate and polite. Put yourself in the position of the landlord. Would you rent the flat to yourself? If the answer is no, then probably no. Landlords in Germany are mainly risk averse and they're thinking long term. Um, so what you have to prove when you write to them or when you appear for the flat viewing is that you're serious, you have financial stability, your documents are in order, your visa is in order and you plan to stay in Germany for long. Because this way they don't have to bother with the new people, finding contracts, bureaucracy, permission to stay and, and so on and so forth. If you free them from pain, they will give you the flat. When you visit the flats, be considerate, dress up nice, uh, but make sure to not be annoying. If you're annoying from the beginning, 
I don't want such a tenant. If you're not able to secure yourself um, accommodation in a flat, uh, then go for a room. In Germany, it is common to live in rooms in a shared apartment. It's called a Wegezimmer. It's not only typical or common for students, it's also common for um, freelancers, for professionals. It's normal to live in Germany in shared apartments until forever. The Getzima option is when everybody has their own room, uh, own bedroom, but they share a bathroom and they share the kitchen area. It's like a dorm, but in the flat, and it's the most common practice here. If you can't find a flat, you can't find a room, and you can't find a dorm, I mean, either something is wrong, or they're just not flat. I mean, there's 15,000 students coming only to Munich in September. It happens. Uh, go for agent. Agent is expensive, but uh, it's safe. And they speak your language most probably. If you can get a flat, maybe you're doing something wrong. Maybe you are not presenting yourself well. Uh, is that possible? Is it possible that you don't prove enough financial stability? Do you lack some documents with you? There is a certain list of documents that you need to bring for a flat for you in. Um, or do you react late? In Germany, it happens that you post a flat available and then it's gone in one hour. Somebody already took it. So don't be slow. Fix something. Everything is possible. If something is not working, fix something and it will work. It comes with practice, but you'll go through it. You will manage. There is a thing I would like to stress out definitely for foreigners. I already mentioned it before, but be very careful. If it looks too good, trust your gut feeling, it's not real. There's a lot of fraud going in the market because there's a lot of foreigners coming. There are a lot of, actually, German migrants coming to other cities uh, for work or for studies, and there's just not enough available accommodation. For that reason, the frauds are low with the market. Never pay anything until you have countersigned contracts. Never pay anything cash um, unless you have a receipt for it. And always, all German contracts, give to your friends who speak German, give to your relatives to read, give your university the contracts to read, and they will help. Never trust anybody. Read. With bureaucracy, read the contracts thoroughly, because long term, it will pay off, trust me. There's a few things you have to pay attention to. As an example, as a foreigner in Germany, when you arrive, you have 90 days visa, sometimes 180 days visa, but you have to extend it. To be able to do so, you have to submit confirmation you're enrolled in university. This one you can only get if you paid for studies. Um, and uh, you need to bring confirmation you found a place to live. And that document is not only your contract, you also have to have a confirmation from your landlord that you're allowed to live there. And if you don't have it, you won't be able to extend your visa. So if your landlord is resistant to give it to you, or he is not the landlord, and he is subletting without permission, stay far away from that because your visa is at risk in this case. Yes, it could be a short-term solution maybe, you know, to survive, but never uh, go always for security accommodation with proper permission. Uh, be very cautious about that. So when you arrive in Germany and you still haven't found a place to stay, be alert for all the possible flat viewings. Schedule as many appointments as possible. Dress up your best attire, print out all the documents, take them in a package, make sure to make like 10 packages for 10 visits. Neat, nice, arrive, present yourself well. I let them understand that I am serious, I speak the languages, I am here to study. My program would be three to four years long. I plan to get employment afterwards. This is my financial security. Yes, I am a student, I do not earn, but this is the confirmation of my bank statements from my parents, um, the matriculation at the university. So there's always an opportunity. We are all people. So it's never going to be black and white. No, you're not German. You're not getting the flat. Never. It will always be very subjective because if the landlords like you, they will give you the flat. It doesn't matter where you come from. You have to be empathetic. You have to show your interest. And you actually have to love the flat. <laughs> Basically, if I am the landlord and you tell me you love the flat, especially that you paid attention in the pictures of how wonderful the small balcony or that it looks so nice and neat with the gray parquet and whatnot. So you care already. This is what you're looking for. It's perfect location for you. Prove it to them. It's people. 
Don't forget, you talk to real people and they're making the decision. There's a few documents that I recommend you to print out and take with you um, or send them per email as requested. And don't forget to always follow up. When you are visited the apartment, thank the landlord for showing it to you, thank the agent, write to them an email, uh, how much you liked it, what exactly you liked, and uh, ask them a question. Whenever you ask a question in your email or in your text, they kind of obliged to reply. <laughs> There's a few documents to print out and take with you. Passport copy or visa, if you have them. If not, your blocked account, your parents' financial statements. Of course, it's all up to you what you prefer to take. But the more you take, the better. There's also another thing in Germany called Schufa check. You can take a look at my website, more details about that. All that can prove that you're a normal human being, that you have a history behind, that you have uh, reasons to be in Germany, that you're here to study, to work your contracts, recommendation letters and whatnot, the more the better. Don't get discouraged if it doesn't work out. Practice, practice, practice. When I arrived in Germany, I was like, meh, what do I do? Like, what is this? What is this hell? Nobody's helping me. Yeah, by the way, nobody will help you. <laughs> nobody. So what do I do, right? So it comes with practice as anything in life. So you attend. Take a look at the way the others behave. Observe the questions the people ask. Put down the notes, attend the next flat, go to the next flat, take a look at the next room. And with every single appointment, you will improve. It's just a matter of practice. Last but not least, never underestimate the power of your nationality. Russian speakers help Russian speakers. Indians help Indians. Turkish help Turkish. Arabs help Arabs. Find the forums on Facebook on internations, on expert forums. Trust me, they will help you to find a place to stay and perhaps with you getting accustomed to Germany to begin with. It's always nice to have the friends from your country to prevent yourself from having a huge culture shock. That's all for now. I hope my tips will help you. And of course, feel free to contact me if I can be of any further help. But I uh, cannot find you a flat. <laughs> you have to do it yourself.